break out or break down. This is not the video that I had planned to make this week, but it was the video I needed to make this week. Break out or break down. That feels better. <laughs> I'm gonna be so pissed if I have lip gloss on my teeth in this video. <laughs> I see so many people having the issue of feeling like they're gonna break out or they're gonna break down. This video is actually inspired by, well, the idea comes from one of my friends because he was listening to a song and he heard the lyric and he said that I would probably enjoy to write a video about that. And I came to try and write the video a couple times and the words just haven't really come out right. So once again, I was sitting down in front of my camera and talking instead. This is my friend Hamez. I've recently been talking with Hamez and he's suffering with a bit of burnout as we all do, but it's something that he kind of struggles with quite a lot I find. He is really good at what he does, he just doesn't really believe in himself enough and I think that he very much has the mindset of breakout or breakdown and so when he has highs in making content he gets really really excited about it and then things will start to dip and he'll start to feel more self-conscious about it and it's not just him, it's pretty much everyone in the space, everyone that makes stuff, everyone that makes stuff and wants people to see stuff that they make will feel like this, at least at some point. The amount of times that we'll have conversations and I'll tell him that he needs to just believe in himself and keep going and post things so that he doesn't feel so worried about the quality of what he's posting, he just needs to get stuff out there because the only way to get better at producing something of higher quality or just get better at producing something in general is to produce stuff and show people it because otherwise everyone's gonna sit there and go, okay, well we don't know what you're capable of. You're not going to see the growth. People aren't going to be able to tell you, oh, I really like this bit about this video, but not so much this. Unless it's just your friends, but your friends are going to be like, please just post it. So this is kind of a cool out. Uh, please post some stuff, James. Otherwise, uh, I'll just come to your house and post it for you. What are you going to do? Woo! Can't stop me. Can't stop me. And I think a big part of this is burnout because you just keep pushing yourself as far as you can and then you end up burnt out and you can't do anything. You can't do all of the things that you wanted to do in the way you wanted to do them. Things don't pan out the way that you thought they would. And it's really heartbreaking. Burnout is one of the hardest things when it comes to content creation and I guess just life generally. Burnout sucks. Everybody gets burnout. Everybody's been through burnout. Everybody hates burnout. And while I may not be able to sit here and give you amazing advice on what to do if you're burnt out because I think it's a very personal thing that everybody kind of has to figure out how they want to overcome on their own, which sucks, but it's kind of the truth. The main thing I think with burnout and this idea that one day you're gonna break out or you're gonna break down and you're not gonna be able to do anything anymore, one day you're gonna be so burnt out that it's over. I feel like that might happen in some parts of your life with certain things, but it's not gonna happen with every single thing that you are actually passionate about and that you actually want to pursue. If there are things that you put your mind to, you can do it. And I know that that doesn't just snap you out of a burnout, but I feel like it at least lets you take the steps towards trying to snap yourself out of it because the only person that can pull you out of a burnout is you, realistically. You have to have that drive to want to not feel burnt out anymore, to want to continue in pursuing whatever it is that you're doing, whether it's schoolwork or making a video or posting a TikTok. So don't give up if it's something that you really want. I don't think that you can give up if it's something that you really want. I get that there's other factors that get in the way of that, but if everything is allowing you to do it, keep going. Even when there are obstacles, like you're too busy certain weeks to do certain things, you just need to keep going because being passionate about something and having that drive is the thing that helps you break out rather than break down. And you might need to take breaks at certain points. Sometimes with a burnout, you do need to kind of take a step back and go, okay, I'm gonna completely remove myself from this. Sometimes you need to make sure that it's actually something that you're passionate about so that you're not just blindly pursuing things thinking, oh, well, 10-year-old me thought that this was gonna be an amazing opportunity or thought that this was gonna be something great in my life and now it's not really. Sometimes you need to take that step back to remember how you actually feel about what you're doing and if you are truly passionate about it or not. But even when you're taking a break, don't stop believing in yourself and, and trying to do something about it and trying to reach further and be better. I think it's really easy to get in our heads about things that concern ourselves, especially if it's something that we're working on alone. But I don't think that it is break out or break down. I think you can climb and get there ready to break out. I think everybody could break out in what they want to break out in. Hopefully not spots, am I right? 
That was a poor joke. That was a poor joke from me. I feel like this needs like a finalizing point. I am still the same kind of girl I was a couple years ago, who is still waiting and hoping for the day that me and my best friends finally break out. And I think I'm on the way. So stay tuned for that. And I think Hammers will be too. He just needs to get his shit together. <laughs> But I'm excited to see what we can do. And I'm excited to see what everyone can do. If there's something that you're working on, keep going. If you're burnt out, take a little break. Come back to it when you're ready. It's not the be all and end all of everything if you need to take a break. It might set you back a little bit further than other people, but they'll end up needing a break at some point too. So don't beat yourself up about it. It's not that deep.